Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yo, yo, yo. To the You're You're Not Not Serious, Serious, Right? Podcast. And man, it has been a fat minute minute (laughs) since uh, we last talked to you guys. Two weeks to be exact. And uh, we're sorry. Yep. We've Um, just been really busy. A couple of things have come up and uh, it's just uh, been a little difficult finding time to do this. Yep. But... We have heard your wants for the return of this podcast, so, you know, we had to make it possible for the return. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're back. We are back back on the normal schedule every Tuesday, 12 a.m. 12 a.m., baby. We're going to try our best not to skip another beat. Uh, Just look at it as a minor inconvenience for y'all for missing two episodes. But we're back on track, episode seven, and uh, yeah. I know you got a story. I do, I do. And one of my other Kentucky stories. So one day, you know, me and Ben, you know, we're just playing outside and there's this grumpy old lady. You know, she lives the next apartment down, next, you know, building down. And, you know, me and him are just playing around and, you know, she she's like, she grows like, you know, blueberries. And every time we, you know, we, we usually play kickball. So we, you know, get done playing kickball. We're all sweaty. I mean, we're like, dude, you know, we're, we're hungry. So, you know, she, a whole plant of blueberries just right in front of her yard, you know, a little yard. You know, we just always just used to take some every time. And just, dude, those are so good. I don't know what she was putting in them or growing them. The blueberry goblins. Yeah, they were so good. Like we didn't take all of them, but we took... Most of them. <laughs> Hot take right here. I don't really mess with like blueberries. Really? Do you have you like any berries or like you put I don't them in, like, know. A I just think the texture of blueberries is kind of weird. Really? Yeah. So you not like put like them in like you know a smoothie or something? Like I like blueberry flavored things, but oh, like okay, just yeah. the berries in general just have like a really yeah. weird like the insides like isn't it like the inside like white? Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. There's like a little like sometimes in different berries there's like a little like ball and you can't really eat it. It's really that's nasty. That's what I'm saying. See, that's nasty. That's I don't know. Nasty. Blueberries just are like a big turn off for me. I don't know. Just because I prefer strawberries. Really? Strawberries are actually pretty good. Strawberries I are think like bananas is my banana bananas is my favorite. Is a banana a berry? No, but I'm just saying bananas oh, just is fruit. fruit overall. What other berries are there? Raspberries? Raspberries are pretty good. Uh, uh, they're all right. I don't really like raspberries. So, so you're on the same page as like a texture thing with those yeah, two? Yeah, yeah. But like, I don't know. Blueberries are so much better. There's blackberries too. Oh, those are good. I like blackberries. Blackberries? Yeah. yeah they're, good. they're pretty good too. All right. Anyways, <laughs> get off track. But, you know, we, you know you know, stole, you know, blueberries from her. And I think, you know, she's really grumpy. And I think like one day she put like a camera in front of a yard or like a hidden camera where she like can see us. So, you know, one day, you know, we're doing the same stuff, just playing around, playing kickball, baseball, that stuff. And, you know, we're like, oh, dude, let's go get some blueberries again from that old mean lady's house. And you know, yeah. side side, you do. <laughs> yeah, that was bad, man. But, you know, me and Ben, we're just casually walking, see the plant. And, you know, we started grabbing a little bit, right? And, dude, when I tell you, dude, she swings open the door. And she's yelling, what are you guys doing? Those are mine. What are you doing? And we're, we're over here freaking out. We dropped all the berries, all of them ruined. We were running, right? We're just sprinting because, dude, keep in mind, she's always hated us. I we've, we've hated her, too. She's always been so grumpy. She's always, like, just said so, like, so much dumb, you know, stuff that we don't even do. But, you know, she's always capping, I swear. But anyways, you know, Capping we ran lying for all the old people watching yeah, this. For all the boomers. Cap equals lies. <laughs> for all the boomers <laughs> out there. But um, yeah, you know, we're just walking. Well, you know, we ran. And then she goes to my she goes to my apartment. She's banging on the door. And my mom answers. And she's just she tells my mom, you know, you know, they're just stealing all those berries. You gotta do something. And my mom didn't really care, but she had to ground me, apparently. She grounded me for a month. For stealing, damn! <laughs> for stealing fucking berries, like, a whole month serious? is wild. I'm well, not like she, well, she said she didn't really like, care, but like she, like her and the old lady, like they're like I guess decent friends. There's acquaintances, I guess. Acquaintances. Yeah. So she had to ground me, and Ben didn't even get grounded, 
And Ben, I think Ben kept on stealing <laughs> from there. He just kept like she, yeah, like she had a camera. I think she had a hidden camera. There's no way, or it might be like looking out the window, but like we didn't see her. So, How long ago was this? Uh, probably in Kentucky. So like, I don't know if they had hidden cameras at that time, dude. Well, I don't know. I guess she was just stalking us then. She probably was like peeking through the blinds. Yeah. Like she was like old, old too. Kids, she lived. I gotta catch him still, my goddamn berries. <laughs> <laughs> she actually said like that. Good, ex- good impression. She was, I think she was a widow. Like she was old, like uh, she's 75. Well, we got to give her some credit for um, living her life without her best, yeah. best man in her life or yeah. a husband. But she was a little dickhead, but Damn. you know, it's fine. Damn. I'm, just say, I'm just saying, man. It's kind of mean, but yeah, I mean, hey, make the best of what you can. Yeah. Don't be rude. Those are, I would definitely go back and eat those berries again. <laughs> those were good berries. <laughs> oh. He's never changed. Nope. I, I did not learn his lesson. Dude, those are Ground your children words. for longer than a month. Yeah, I guess so. I heard you had a story, man. Okay. So back in elementary school, I was into the older ladies. Oh, okay. Talking to fourth graders. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is not present time for any of y'all weirdos. <laughs> okay. Discord moderators. Discord mods. I was like, how old are you when you're in like second grade? Okay. Wait, what? I was I was in second grade. How so how old are you? I don't know. Nine? Eight? How old are you when you go in the kindergarten? Like five? Five, six. So you I was always older though. Two so. years to so like six or seven. Yeah. I was a smart child, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um I knew what I wanted and I wanted to get them. <laughs> okay. And I and I used to read diary 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 of a wimpy kid and uh my favorite book anyway uh there was this girl i kind of forgot her name is so i can't even give her a fake name i guess actually let's just call her uh what should we call her just a uh, just a random generic name a random generic name um sarah sarah it's my mother's name but Dude, it'll, on, it'll suffice <laughs> it'll suffice uh so Sarah was a fourth grader, one of the older ladies. Why did I have a crush in second grade? You, I don't know. Why, why does anyone have crushes? Yeah, you're right. I didn't really have any crushes. I just went to school, went home. Um, anyway, she was, she was beautiful in my mind as a second grader. I really have to keep putting in the context of the second grader because it can easily be taken out of context yeah. at any time. But I really liked this girl in, in second grade. And uh, so I decided I'm going to do the good old write on, a, write on a piece of paper. Do you like me? Yes or no. <laughs> like circle yes or no. And I finally got enough courage uh, to see her in the hallway because I always passed her on the way to the going to the bus. And uh, I gave her and I was like, hey. She was like, who is this kid? <laughs> and, but she said like, hey. Because I mean, everyone in elementary school is somewhat nice. Mm-hmm. She took the note from me and she was like, okay, bye. And then... Um, the next day I come to school, like I went home that day, all hyped. I'm like, let's go. I just did it. And then I popped on some three days grace. So my, uh, my old, uh, I think I had like a PS2 or something back in the day. Mm-hmm. And I was just jamming to that. Shout out to three days grace. One X, the album was, uh, my soundtrack of like my childhood. Anyway, jamming out to that animal I've become. Anyway, the next day, get up for school. And uh, I'm so pumped. I'm like, let's go. She definitely said yes. How could you say no to me? <laughs> uh, I go to school and I'm just, the day is t- taking so long because I'm just waiting for the end of it. So, so you only see her at the end of the day? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm walking towards the bus again and I see her and she's not smiling today. I'm like, oh God. God. She, uh, so she hands me note. She's like, hey. I'm like, hey. like, And then she she gives me the note. I take it and I I'm so I'm so excited. I can't even I can't even read it. Like I don't even open it till I get home. I get home, I go up in my room, throw my backpack on the bed, pull it on my pocket, I open it. <laughs> psh, no. But God! I was so <laughs> mad, dude. I think I started tearing up and I was like <sighs> crumbled the ball up, oh. opened my window of my room and threw it outside. <laughs> oh my and God. I said, take that. <laughs> Did she just like put like a check mark or like? So she, she was, like, circled no. Oh wow! Like like a couple times. It wasn't just one single circle. It was yeah. like she took her time 
dialing in that circle that and darkened it real nice with oh, that yeah. lead she, pencil. She, she I was knew like, what she was doing. <laughs> but yeah, think about it. At that time, how old is she? She's like what, like 10, 11? Like Fourth eleven grade? or twelve. Yeah, and you're yeah, dude. Like she she I don't think she would do that. I was that. like, what, seven? Yeah. <laughs> no, dude, that's not gonna happen. Eight. Uh, it was it was honestly very depressing. It was uh, Jacob's first heartbreak, and I never looked at her the same. I always gave her a dirty look. I would always meme her like this. <laughs> you rejected me. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my first uh, rejection. I actually had a couple girlfriends in elementary school. That's probably for a different day. Uh, I, psh, oh, we're a player in elementary school, man. I was the man oh, back in the my, day. I really, I didn't know that, man. Yeah. All right. So I have another one, another story. I'm in fifth grade. And, you know, I'm in, you know, I'm chilling in this, I think it was like some RTI class. I was stupid in fifth grade. Uh, still am stupid, but, you know, I think I was in some, <laughs> I think I was in some RTI <laughs> class with a guy, you know, was called him Barry and me and him are best friends, bro. Best friends in the RTI class. And, you know, we're chilling and like our desks are right next to each other. And, you know, we turned around, there's like a, you know, a pretty nice backpack just like right there chilling. And Nice backpack. Yeah. I mean, no, no one a claimed backpack it. was super important back in the day. On oh, God, dude, like, get, phew, forty dude, buck backpack was like the, you, you were the man. Oh, you God. had like what, were, like the Swiss backpacks, yeah, or like the Nike ones. Yep. Or the no, oh, I always do that. If you if you had like the Nike ones, bro, you were the stuff. You were the man. Like oh, that God. was like the bougie back then. Like yeah. no BB belts, just yep, just Nike backpacks. Oh, God, it was an it was a nice. I don't know if it was a Nike or Adidas or whatever. Well, well, Under Armour. Under Armour. I was think I think too. it might have been Under Armour. But anyways, you know. Isn't uh, Barry, you know, he was like, dude, you want to look in the bag? I'm like, no, dude. But, you know, I was like, yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> so, you know, we open the bag and do, there's like tons of Snickers, Kit Kats. Like, I don't know why this guy, this guy's definitely rich. He was bringing in all the candy to was school. Was this near Halloween? No, nah, it was just a random, I think it was in January to be Who honest with you. Who was bringing candy to school like that? I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot. of. I know it was a lot of Snickers and Kit Kats. He's that candy dealer. Oh God, dude! You can like people Was just he up selling that it. on the side. Probably. I mean, I would. He, I would definitely do that. That's especially like in elementary or middle school. You can just up, up charge it, and people just buy it. I mean, it was a businessman. Oh God, he on was. The side. He, he already. He was him. But anyways, you know, there's tons of Snickers and Kit Kats, and there's a nice speaker. I think it was like a. I the think JBL? it was like a, yeah, it was either JBO or Beat, one of those Beat speakers. And, you know, I just took all the candy. <laughs> I was like, dude, I'm so hungry. I took all of it, put it in my bag. I mean, it was like two handfuls Jeez. of Snickers and Kit Kats. And, you know, Barry over here, dude, I'm going to take this, you know, I'm going to take this freaking speaker. I'm like, oh, God, here we go. All right, dude. Like, he, like that pap, the backpack was just randomly there. It was nobody's. We thought it was nobody's. So y'all are stealing. Yeah, basically. Look, the second he, time. Oh, okay. Another stealing story. All right, Chris dude. is a thief. I am a thief. Be back careful. in the day. Back in the day. Not now. I don't know. No, no. All right, dude. Don't give me the side eye, man. <laughs> Anyways. Plus, I only took the candy. At least I didn't take this speaker. The speaker costs money. Actually, candy costs money too, but. Candy least, does cost money. Yeah. Anyways, you know, we. I go in the next class. I think next class is my science class. And me and Barry didn't have that class together. So I go in that class, and I'm, I, as soon as I sit down, I see the vice principal come in. Oh, and no, not I'm the over vice here, principal. I'm over here shitting bricks. And you know who I see behind him? Sad face crying? Barry. Oh, no, that man definitely snitched. He he did. He did. Oh. He, he, he snitched. I, I know damn well he did. But, you know, I, I he looks at me. He looks at me with the meanest stare, points at me, come here. I'm like, oh my God, dude, did Barry really just tell on me? Like, he's the one who stole the speaker. I'm not going to lie. He should have got more trouble, but we both got the same punishment. But anyways, you know, he takes me back and he's like, all right, Chris, be honest with me. Did you and Barry steal out of this kid's backpack? I'm like, yes, sir. And like, I'm like sobbing. I'm like, yes, sir. Because I hated getting in trouble. I'm like, yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. It wasn't my fault. You know, and next year, uh, well, hold on. Yeah, after that, we got guidance counselors. Uh, you guys got ISS for, you know, two or three days. Only two or three days. ISS in school suspension? Yep. Okay. Make sure and say So, what, what I figured out later was the kid that we stole from, he was in the bathroom and for a long time and like the bell rung. And I guess he looked in his backpack and 
you saw the, you know, candy and the speaker gone and told the teacher and, you know, she was like, oh yeah, these two kids, you know, sat like the same spot you're at. So that stupidest idea ever, but that's how they find out. Well, don't leave your backpack unattended at school. Don't, especially in our school. Oh, um, my. Not a good idea. And uh, on the topic of school, I feel like people forget how important like the notebook designs and stuff were back oh, in the day. Oh, yeah, dude. dude. And like the little like pouches for yep. like... All- Dude, do you I remember, thought it was like, so cool. Do you remember like the zipper monster? Yep. Thing oh my, the yes. Zipper Dude, I, always, I never pouch? got one of those. I was so mad. Dude, I got one. Really? It, like you could unzip the whole thing, bro. Oh, it, oh like... It, oh. It, do you remember and, um, duct tape wallets? Oh, yep. Oh my, I made one of those. I actually you made one of those. Th- those were cool. Yep. You get like the cool. camo or like whatever cool design yep. duct tape mm-hmm. and you make them mugs. I remember in kindergarten... We had to like we had to bring a notebook and like put like all of our like family pictures on it. Really? Yeah, and like, dude, it was so cool. Dude, like, it's so sad because like back whenever we were in like elementary school, like we used to do like actual fun projects yeah, in class. I know. And now they don't do that, dude. Yeah, I got a project coming up. You, you make a PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, um, and you just say, "Hey, here you go," or like write a paper. It's like, yeah. where's all the fun in like doing arts and crafts? Yeah. Oh god. Well, it's really sad. I mean, as you get older, they don't really do all that, man. I feel like they still like. I feel like high schoolers, whenever we're in elementary school, we're, also, we're still doing more like paper yeah. mache and stuff. Oh, dude, those, no one does yeah. paper mache anymore. I know. I mean, I would love to do. Do that. we even have an art class at our school? Yeah, I swear I've never even heard of an art class. I've been in that one art. Though, okay, I've been in one art class, and that was great, dude. I was painting, drawing. It was actually pretty fun. One class. I stand corrected. Yeah. But there's yeah, only it, there's only like two classes though. Like art. I low key feel like we're the last uh, like age of the generation that isn't fully consumed by phones and technology yeah uh some like when are, we man. were a kid we didn't have phones yeah but now flip phones we had flip yeah. phones <laughs> flip phones man. i mean so for <laughs> real 2005 there were flip phones yeah i know that was cool dude. in like 2012 they didn't really have my grandma like, still has a flip phone it's lucky the best phone because yeah. you don't have to worry about social media you literally just use it for texting and calling yep dude it's hard to text on those it takes you like it takes you like a whole like twenty minutes to type in and one it, sentence. And then there's the mugs that have there's no keyboard. It's just like the little like the arrows. So oh, they yep. have to pick each individual mm-hmm. letter. So they're just like over here. D D D. It takes them like yep. ten years to type out a message. Dude, my grandma actually like had a game on her uh, flip phone. It was, was it like snake. No, I think it was like kind of like a Flappy Bird thing, and it was so cool. I was boop boop boop. It was really. But cool. like that was all it took to entertain yeah. us. Now yeah. we need these freaking. GTA 6. Yeah, everything. Rainbow 6 Siege It's going to be good. Okay, look. Those are cool, though. Like, 2025 is about to be a stacked year. That's true. There's a guys, lot coming how, Yeah, how do you guys games. feel about that? Like, how do you feel about that? Like, you know, we have Batman, GTA, COD. What Batman? Batman 2. What's Batman 2? Robert Pattinson. The one that you Oh, like. the movie. I thought you said it was a game, a new Batman No, I game wish. No. I it's wish, actually man. been officially announced for next year? Yeah. Are you sure? Maybe. I feel like you're captain. No, they've, they've like confirmed a lot of like villains. Okay, that doesn't mean it's coming out yeah. next year. But the Penguin series is supposed to come out. That's supposed to be really good. It might be. might yeah. be. I've got another story from elementary. This is like, this whole episode's kind of based on like elementary school yeah. and like middle school uh, like days. Younger vibes, yeah. And uh, so another thing that a lot of people forget about was Yo Mama jokes. Do you remember your mama jokes? Yep, I love doing those. Man, I would say I would find a new, I, I wait for them videos to come out on like the animated ones. Oh, yes. I love watching those. Every week to yep. see them new ones. And uh, so there was this one girl in my class who was of the more weight. Uh, a no four offense for four? to anybody. Uh, no, not a four for not four. Not a was, four for four. She was nice. She wasn't very mean to anybody. She was very quiet, which makes me feel bad about it now. But a joke's a joke. Um, anyway... Boy, I was you can going to take jokes too far. I, I was going to the bathroom and I passed her on the way to the bathroom. This was in probably like third grade. And I passed her. Actually, it was probably second grade. Second grade was a big year for me. Mm-hmm. I'm passing her on the on the way to go to the bathroom. And uh, I'm like, I, I just learned some, some new your mama jokes. So I'm like, your mama's so fat, her blood type chocolate. <laughs> and then she looks at me. And she just starts tearing up, and then oh. she just runs back in the classroom like, oh, no. So I just walk in the bathroom. I kind of just forget about it. At that, at that age, you just don't really care. Yeah, you're right. You're like, oh, well. I um, 
I walk in the bathroom, do my business, wash my hands, come back to the classroom, I'm just chilling there. And then I get the, I guess she had told the teacher and she had called the principal. So I hear on like, I, the, my teacher gets a call and she's like, Jacob, go to the, the front office, the principal's office. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh God. I look, I look at the girl and she's like still like sad. And I'm like, oh, darn. And then so I oh, walk. You just did straight up didn't care. I, I walk to the, uh, to the principal's office all the way down. Like I had to walk so far. It took me at least five minutes. I was taking my time. I was just like, <laughs> You know, I just did, you know, the best you mama joke. I feel good. I, I kept saying more. I was like, man, what's what another what other joke could I have said? Like, <laughs> like Dude, that's so yo, your mama so fat she brought a spoon to chili. <laughs> chili outside. I don't know. There were some good ones. I already forgot them though, but I'm walking to the Prince's office and this dude, I sit down, he's like, So Jacob, I heard you said uh your mama joke to a, a fellow classmate. I was like, Yeah, so. And, oh my. And, and and he was like, "Well, she was very upset by this, so uh, I'm giving you a referral. Like, I I guess that's what they're called, like a referral from like my parents to sign. Yeah. So I said about. like, your son did this, blah 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 blah. I just sign call it, like, sign it, and return it. I just call him a write up. I get to call. Like, I guess a write up. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm like, I was kind of upset now because like I realized I made a mistake, mm-hmm. and I was starting to feel bad for myself. I was like. I'm sorry I didn't mean to I'm sorry that your blood type is chocolate <laughs> And then uh, So I take that paper Fold it up Put it in my pocket I get home And the first thing I do When I get home Walk through the door Dad's on the couch Walk to the ba- walk, Walk to the kitchen <laughs> I ripped that referral up And threw right oh. in the trash <laughs> But you had to get that signed I did not get that fine. <laughs> I was just like this. <laughs> scratched it up. I was so mad. I ain't getting trouble for this. Pew, 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 pew. I just scratched it up. And then they never found out. They never even knew. So they just didn't care that you just didn't sign it? I don't know. I, I think they were a little more lenient back in those days because I could have just said I lost it or forgot about it. But no, I walked home, yeah, you're right. ripped it up in the trash, threw it away, and went on with my day. Like well, nothing ever just, happened. You can pull one of those classics. Yeah, my dog ate it, you know? I actually did have a dog, the little dog. He's still around, named Snickers. <laughs> God, he's an old one. He's old, bro. Dude, he's like a saber tooth. Yeah. Do you know what happened to him back in the day with me? No, what happened? <sighs> so we had just gotten him like three months ago, and I was we were we were in my like in a house we had just moved into, mm-hmm. um, and we were all in my room hanging out, and then Snickers came at me, and he came. I was like, Snickers, do you want to fly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. I pick him up. He was like probably only a year old now. Yep. I threw that mug onto the the, the, ma- the blow up mattress. Oh. <laughs> that, that, oh my. that mug. I I overthrew him and it and he hit the bookshelf. <laughs> he slammed the bookshelf and he rolled over and he landed on the mattress. Oh my! And he was just crying. Mom was like, "My mom ran in. What are you doing? What are you doing?" <laughs> I'm like. I thought he could fly. <laughs> Dude, that actually reminds me of something. So like when we're like, when I was like a baby or when, when my he brother broke was his in, leg, he broke his leg, he broke his leg. You yeah. broke his leg. He had to wear a cast for like six oh. months. Oh, dude, I- I'm beating you. Dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. no, my mom took my brand new Lego Batman oh. DS game, bro. <gasps> I love, I love Lego Batman. <laughs> I'm so mad. I was like, God, <laughs> that actually reminds me, dude. I remember when my brother was like a baby and you know, I was on the couch and the fan is on, right? And my dad's, you know, you know, just carrying the baby, my br- my brother, and he's throwing it up. I'm like, oh, you know, he's probably chill. Throws him up, boom, bangs on the ceiling, his head, and he fl- and he flies and he lands on the couch. And my mom was my dad. Ryan? Was a- yes, Ryan. Yes. No wonder why he flew at the ceiling. Yeah, my no, my dad like threw him up. I don't know what he was thinking, but he threw him up. I mean, the ceiling was going fast. He threw it like the fan was going so fast. And it he hit his up. head and flew him. Boom. <laughs> he landed on the couch. And my dad was laughing. He didn't care. He was laughing. My mom came in was and he was crying? screaming. Yep. He was like, ah! <laughs> Did he have a dent in his so head? Funny. Huh? Did he have a dent in his head? I think so. I, no, I think it was. I think we actually had to take him to the doctor. I don't remember. But Your I was. son has brain damage. <laughs> probably does. I don't. Dude. He, I mean, it's, it was so funny. I was, I was on the couch just looking, and my dad was just throwing. Boom! <laughs> landed. You flew. 
That's oh, terrible, dude. That is terrible, dude. My mom was so mad at my dad. For I'd be so mad long. too. Homie be, just threw your brother. I was laughing. He and my dad were laughing. <laughs> oh god. I was. I think I was like four or five. I, I don't Keep know why. Keep your children away from his dad. Yeah. My dad's great now, though. He's great. <laughs> Sometimes. All right, dude. So, what's your uh, Super Bowl prediction? I hate the Chiefs. I hate Patrick Mahomes. Hate the Swifties. I mean, yeah, I don't like them. Um. Uh, 49ers are definitely going to win. The Ravens let me down. Lamar. Lamar, what what was that game? That game was awful. Did you watch that? Like part of it. I was at work. Dude, was it was fun. awful. It was awful. It was bad. He caught his own pass. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, but like... Has that ever happened before? Actually, I don't think so, no. Hey, man. The thing is, like, they're... He got, didn't on. he get MVP? Yeah, he did. He won MVP. He's good. Man. God, he, he's a little funky, dude, though. He looks... <laughs> No, no hate. No hate. No hate, though. Lamar does look a little goofy, and I yeah. feel bad saying that because he's such a good player. But I love him, though. You can tell that his genetics were not in the uh, photogenic <laughs> region. They were in the ability to play sports. Oh, yeah. But no the, hate, though. Yeah, but, like, dude, the Chiefs, like, defense was good. Like, they were not, like, he was trying to find people, but they were not open, man. <sighs> and this man, I'm not, this man, Travis Kelsey, bro, like... I don't like him. Oh, I mean, yeah, I don't like him, but he's a good player. I'm not going to lie. He, I he's, think he's cool. He's His I, brother's cool, too. Oh, I love Jason. Jason Kelsey is cool. Both Probably are. one of the best centers in the game. Kels. Kels. Yeah. Sorry, it's Kels. Kels. Did they change it? I think that he legally changed that, right? No. It's just the, pronoun- the pronunciation is actually supposed to be Kels. Yeah, because he said that on his pod. Kelsey. Yeah. He was like, yeah, it's Kelsey. But it was or his dad. His oh, dad. his dad? Yeah, his oh, dad okay. was like, they're like, so what is it? How do you say? And he was like... Well, it's Kels, but I don't care. It's you know, it's like I, he didn't want to correct him every time they said it for the past like fifty years. So, dude, but everyone, dude, that's crazy because everyone just calls him Kelsey. Yep, that is, crazy. and it's actually Kels. Yeah. I mean, Travis is. I think he is one of the best tight ends in the game. Probably, if not, he's got is. him and Patrick have more touchdown throws yeah. uh, than Gronk and uh, Gronk was so Brady, unstoppable. Right? I think so. Yeah, Gronk and Brady are just a go to duo. Same with, well, well, now, you know, Pat and Travis are starting to be, you know, a GOAT duo. Yeah, and uh, talk about a bad loss, the Lions. <sighs> yep. I mean, the first quarter, they looked good. I was like, I was oh, like yeah. man, it's going to be a blowout. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, dude, they're Niners about to lose? No. Niners came back. Uh, yep. Purdy. I think he's... Purdy is really good. I for think he's underrated. Relevant. I Yeah, I think he's underrated. He's definitely the underdog coming into this. Oh, yeah. But every, everyone wants him to win because no one likes the Taylor Swift bowl. Well, the thing about this is y'all will already know the results Yeah, when this comes out. Y'all already know who's won. And uh, my prediction is 27-21 49ers. My prediction, 35-27 Niners winning. And uh, if we're right, you owe us five bucks. Yep. Every single one of y'all. Just kidding. But I think I think there's a good chance for the 49ers to win. I hope so. As yeah. long as they're, they're confident. They have good, Christian McCaffrey, like they have everybody. As long as Kittle, they everybody. as long as they get their coaching Osa. together and they don't do anything stupid, I think yep. I think what they should have a good game. And uh all we can hope is for like Travis or Patrick to get injured and that would really be good. help them mm-hmm. with that game. But uh Pat like what's his name? Travis, Pat, Mahomes? Who? No, 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 no. Yeah, what Pat, position? Pat, Patrick Mahomes. He's uh, okay. He's plays pretty good. Yeah, I think he like, like especially during this time, like Super Bowl and playoffs, yeah. he plays really well. During the regular season, awful. I'm, I didn't think they were going to even make the playoffs. I don't know like, what dude, switches in his yeah, brain. Yeah, I, like, I swear he, he always hardened. switches it on in the playoffs, dude. He's so good. I'm not gonna lie. I think he's gonna probably be one of the greats, just like Brady. Like I hate me. I hate to say that, but it's like. They're good, but like I just don't like seeing the same team win every year. It really sucks. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I want the Eagles to win again, or like the Ravens or yeah. somebody, or the I Lions. Want the, I want the Ravens. I want the Ravens to win at least one Super Bowl, dude. Yeah, just at least one. with Lamar, dude. I just want Lamar. Lamar just deserves it. He's oh, been God. so he hard. He does, man. He does. He really does. But yeah, guys, I hope you all have had a great two week vacation from the You're Not Serious Right podcast. And uh, I just want to say we appreciate each and every one of y'all. And we're sorry that we weren't able to provide you with content like really, the past sorry. episodes. Um, it was just a lot of stuff going on. And hope mm-hmm. you guys you guys can uh, forgive us for that and be on the lookout for more content. If y'all would like to see us 
uh, talk about anything specific or anything, let us know. Yeah. You have our Instagram. You have the YouTube comments. You have TikTok. You can reach us out, like reach out to us very easily. And um, it's all back on this TV that's not been on the past three episodes. Y'all won't even know that. Won't even notice. But uh, yes, uh, we're back. We are back. And uh, stay on the lookout. Uh, you're not serious. Right? right? <laughs>